Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Can you all hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, great, excellent. Hi guys, um, welcome, Leticia, Pablo, Juan Carlos, Vilma, Sarai, Nancy, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, it's good to see you guys again. Um, how was uh, your your day today? Great, teacher. And you? How was your day? Not not bad. I can't really complain. It's been pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, is are everybody ready for the for the weekend? Any problems that you guys have had? Any problems? No. Anyone. Okay, well, guys, um, it's great to be able to see you guys. Um, mm. Some of you were able to, um, uh, to um, what's it called, um, send me some the homework. Um, others of you were not, but um, it's okay. Like, if you were able to, to leave it, it's okay, not a problem. Um, I will... Um, I will check it if you have sent it to me. If not, that's okay. Okay, you no no problem at all. All right. Um, so um, I'm going to uh, first of all, it, I'm going to be doing a review from last class because some people I know were not in last class. So I'm just going to do a quick review of what we did last class. Okay. So give me a second. Okay, can you guys all see the whiteboard? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, Yes, it's true. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick review of what we saw last class because um, in a moment we're going to be breaking into the breakout rooms and I want everybody to know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so. Um, so last class we were talking about uh, the didn't, sorry, sorry, <laughs> the um, used to, let me put that in, okay, used to, and I explained yesterday that used to is used for, um, what's it called, um, for past habits. So these are things that have, these were habits that you had in the past that no longer are true, okay? So that means that since they are no longer true, um, these habits do not exist anymore. But be careful because yeah, since they are habits, they have to be actions. They cannot be states, right? So for example, um, verbs like have, um, well, well, maybe, ha yes, have 
Yes, it can be like we can use all the the verbs um, with a used to, but they would have a different meaning. Only verbs that are actions are used for past habits. So be careful about that. Okay? Does that make sense? What I'm saying that only actions are past habits. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's sure. Okay. Yes, good. it's sure. Good, good, good. Okay. So what basically um, what I'm saying is if you have verbs like have, um, think, uh, be, and we use it with used to, it is not a past habit. It's something different. So only with past habits, sorry, only with um, actions we have past habits. So um, I explained to you yesterday that basically the structures stand as following. Um, for for the um, for the affirmative we use subject plus used to plus base form a base verb let's say base verb plus the complement and I'm going to put complement in parentheses because it's not necessary only if you want it right if you think it it um, is important for the sentence or if you want to add it but it's not necessary okay and um, and for e for negatives we would have subject plus didn't use to plus base verb plus complement. And again, complement is optional. Okay. So this is a reminder. Um, okay. And um, now I, I explained to you guys that um, when we are using affirmative, we use used to because it's in the simple past, right? So use is a regular verb, so you just add the D. But in the case of in the case of the um, the, the, the negative, we are not going to put the D here, okay? And the reason why we're not going to put the D here is simply because um, here we already in the auxiliary we already put the past, so we're not going to put to in the past. Right? We're not going to put didn't in the past and used to in the past. So, that's, so be careful about that. Okay. And um, the other thing, yeah. So um, so be be careful always with that and remember also that independent of the subject it's always going to be didn't okay and then we learned also that for questions we always begin with did okay always and then we put the subject plus the verb sorry plus the use to plus the base Verb. And again, the complement if you think it's necessary. Okay, that would be, oh, and the question, and the question mark, of course, right? That would be the question. And independent of the subject, it's also, we're going to start with did, independent of that, right? And once again, we're not going to put the D over here. It's not going to be used to because we already put did in the, in the simple past. Okay, so that's what we learned last class. These are when we're talking about habits. So when, in other words, we're talking about something that we used, that we did before in the past, but now we don't do it anymore. And this was a continuous action. And this one is something that we didn't do as a habit in the past, and now we do. Okay, and um, 
and did in here over here um, this is just asking if somebody did that action as a habit in the past and how it works well actually let me just close this off so that you guys can um, okay so this is These are our structures here, okay, and um, in in you know in the practice, how this works would be something like this. Um, if you're going to be talking about yourself, you're going to say, "I." So let me change the color here. Okay, so you're going to say, "I used to," for example, um, "I used to." sell um, I used to sell I don't know what can we sell let's say uh, you, sorry cell phone? Cell, cell phone cell phones okay all right I used to sell uh, cell phones um, uh, when or oh, five years ago let's say five years ago five years ago so that means that this was an uh, that was a habit right or something that you used to do constantly okay um, so you will notice that the um, the what's it called uh, we have here the you um, the used to okay just as we have the subject is I used to is here then we're gonna have the base the base verb and the base verb is sell right okay and um in this case we do we have decided that there's going to be a complement and their complement is going to be self cell phone five years ago and actually i made a mistake it should be cell phones plural so let me just fix that Okay, so I used to sell cell phones five years ago. Okay, there you go. And again, over here, um, if we're going to talk about myself, I'm going to say I didn't use to, sorry, oops, sorry, lemonade always the D. Used to, um, I didn't use to, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. This is actually something true for me. I didn't used to wear a whoops wear a face mask um, at the beginning of the pandemic. Okay, so. I don't know about you guys, but I was I was actually not really into wearing um, masks at the beginning of the pandemic because at the beginning they had not said that it was necessary to wear them. And so I said, oh yeah, okay, so if it's not necessary, I won't wear it, you know, either. but now I do, obviously. Um, and so here this is an action that was true, that something that was that um before we didn't we didn't do like it was a past habit that we didn't do in the past but now we do okay so now i always wear my face mask right like it's that's a must right so um so here we have so we have the subject is i we have didn't used to the base form of the verb is in this case where Okay, and I have decided to have a complement, and the complement is um, a face mask at the beginning of the pandemic. Okay, All right. Sounds good, everybody. So far, so good. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes, teacher is good. Great, okay, so, and then finally, we have the last one, which is uh, the question, so we're gonna start with, 
Um, okay, so we're going to say with, um, oh, just give me a second. Did you used to, oops, sorry, keep on putting used to. Did you used to, um, did you used to exercise? I'll keep it like that, okay? We just used, did you used to exercise? So over here, simple as that, um, once again, we're going to start always with, um, we're going to start with, um, just give me a second. We're always going to start with did, okay? All right, did. We have the subject is you. And then after that, we have the um, used to. Okay. And in this one, we have the base. Oh, sorry, I, I spelled it wrong. I'll, I'll fix that in a moment. I put ver verb, oh. and it should be verb. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay. So the the base verb is exercise, and in this one, if you notice, it's not necessary to add a complement. So you can just keep it as do you. Um, did you use to exercise? Period. Right. We don't need a complement. That's what I'm saying. It's not necessary to have a complement all the time. So um, only if you think it's necessary. Um, to complete the idea or if you simply just want to complete the idea or it's simply like like add a specific information about it okay um, give me a second teacher yeah I have a question and the last question uh, is uh, we need to use um, do exercise or only to exercise? Um. Well, exercise can exercise can be a noun, and it can also be a verb. So um, it depends on how you're using it. If you're using it like a noun you would have to say, do exercise, right? Um, or like the noun would be like an activity. But in here, I'm using it like an action. And so in Spanish, exercise, to exercise, it would be ejercitarse, right? So in that case, you don't need to use sure. do. Does that make sense? Excuse me, teacher, can I talk? Yes, teacher. I understand. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. What, what was your question? Uh, uh, can you use workout? Yeah, that's a synonym too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, workout. Um, it's just that um, workout is a phrasal verb and most you probably know that phrasal verbs tend to be a little bit more informal, right? Just a tiny bit more informal. Um, so if you were going to write something more formal, it would be to exercise, but, um, but workout is fine. Yeah, that's, that's a synonym and that's okay. No problem. Any other questions that you guys have? All clear. Okay, good. All right, so um, like I, I mentioned at the beginning of the class, uh, some of you already sent me the um, the exercises um, in, in the WhatsApp group and uh, I was able to answer some of you back. Others of you, uh, if you send it to me um, just a few minutes before the class, I haven't had a chance to review them. But, um, but anyways, it, it's not necessary. You don't have to send it to me. Only if you would like me to check them, I can check them for you. That's not a problem. Um, but but you don't have to. It's not it's not a, um, an obligation. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to be getting into groups and you're going to be sharing those sentences with your classmates. So you're going to send share the sentences about the affirmative and the negative. 
okay? And once you're finished, first, so first everybody share their affirmative, okay? Everybody share the affirmative. When you're finished, with everybody has finished the affirmative, then move on to the negative, okay? And when you're finished the five negatives for everybody in the group, you're gonna do the questions, okay? So go, go in order so that everybody has an opportunity to, to speak and, um, and ask and answer. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes, it's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Yes, I know. Good, good, good. Okay, all right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to right now make the, the groups. Um, give me a moment. Um, I'm going to get you guys to work in groups um, of four, I think. And that will... Um, well, maybe no, maybe I'll give you guys five. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys five better. Um, five groups because that way every, there will be only four or five people in each group. Okay, so that way you, you will have a more chance to, to, to talk and everything. Um, so let me start. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to open up the groups right now. Go ahead and join your group. Okay, I will start. Um, the affirmative. I used to watch TV every morning. Number two, I used to play softball when I was a shy. Number three, I used to take the bus to work at 6 a.m., but now I take the bus at 7 a.m. And number four, I used to drive, ride the bicycle, but now not anymore. Number and five, I used to drink a lot of soda when I was a shy. And who's the next one? <laughs> Next, someone else. Well, my sentence says I used to play with my friends. Number two, I used to study very much. Number three, I used to be more sociable. Four, I used to be more funny. And five, I used to be very playful. Okay, I'm gonna be the next. Um, I used to draw a lot. I used to like to cook with my feather. I used to eat sugar when my mom was talking with my aunts because she says that I talked a lot. I used to play volleyball when I was in high school and I used to eat more than now. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. But... <laughs> okay, I use 
de de clothing wear I I use the clothing wear eh, in the morning I used to drink a chocolate every night. I used to a, go to my work every day. A, sorry. I, I used to use it to get letter by my uncle. I didn't used to fight with my friends. Okay. I didn't used to behave well. I didn't used to do exercise. I didn't used to drink water. And I didn't used to waste money. But now I waste. And I didn't used to go out with my family. And now I do. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't used to go out to my home alone. I didn't used to eat vegetables. I didn't used to go to school on bus. I used to go walking. I didn't used to wear clothes in my home. I used to be naked at home. I didn't used to have a lot of money. My mother used to give me money for my things. <laughs> Okay. Pablo. Pablo is, <laughs> Pablo is, is losing. Are you eating? No, Pablo está comiendo. <laughs> Para que eh, fuera messenger le tiráramos un zumbido. <laughs> Who is next? Okay. Okay, Carlos, eh, question. question, perdón. Questions. Yes, questions. That's right. Um, sorry, sorry. Oh, I am busy. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I am busy. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pablo, can you um, say you say use uh, the affirmative and negative sentences? One moment. Okay. okay. <laughs> Did everybody speak already? Mm, yes, but We're only... waiting for Pablo. Yes. Uh -huh, okay, yeah, except for Pablo. Everybody else spoke? Yes, yes. You want Juan Carlos okay. continue with the question? Okay. Um, question. Uh, Douglas, did you use, used to hear rock music? Uh, yes, I did. It's the correct yeah. answer. The yes, I know. yes, I used to listen to rock music when I was a child, when I was younger. <laughs> Okay. And, and, and Nancy, did you tell used me. to run under the rain? Uh, tell me again. Did you used to run, run, uh, correr, under wow. the yes. rain? Yes, I did, and I like it. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yes. It was a great experience when I was a child. Yes, it's a better experience. Yes. Um, did you used to sleep grandmother's house? It's on me? Anyone. Yes, I did. Why do you like uh, to sleep in your grandmother in your grandmother's house. Why? Uh, 
eh, because by, for the food that she gave it to me, <laughs> a lot of um, anyone did you used to watch en la calle, Vilma. Le gustaba jugar en la sí, calle con sí. sus amigos. Ajá, sí, solía yes. jugar en la calle. Sí. Yes, um, I don't know. Ay, espérame. ¿Cómo es la palabra? Solo déjame ver. Um, no me dejaban. No sé cómo decir eso, pero yo sí quería salir. Ok. No sé cómo decir esa palabra. No, no. No permits. No, no, no. no permits. Didn't, didn't give me permission. Oh. No permission. Ah, okay. No, no, no. 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 Didn't give me permission. Didn't, didn't give, give me, me permission. permission. That's right. Or if you want to make it shorter, it's permission. Didn't let me. Didn't let me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, just a bit. Mm -hmm. um, did you used to walk in the park? No, I didn't used to walk in the park. Okay. Flor. Did you used to watch horror movies alone when you were a kid? And no, I didn't to watch horror movies <laughs> when I were a kid. When I were when I were kid. Um, I if, with I you use was and not were. When I use. When I was, was a kid. When I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. When I was okay. a kid. Yeah. Um, hey Roxana, um, Tell me. what movies or TV shows did you used to watch? Uh, I I used to, to watch Candy, Heidi, um, with my brother, Hima. Yes, I have all questions. Wait, wait. Uh... Uh, did you did you used to do exercise in this moment? I don't know how do you say si si hay que agregarle in this moment. No, no, no porque es pasado. No, because uh -huh. ah, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Uh, did you used to do exercise? Yeah, yes, I did. To used to exercise when I was child. Ah, okay. In this moment, no. Uh, remember, when I was a child, when I was. When, I, wa when I was child. When okay. I was a child. Mm -hmm. When I was a child. Yes, I used to do exercise when I was a child mm -hmm. in okay. physical education. It's okay. Very nice. And I don't know who who is the next. I am. Mm, did you used to eat healthy? Um I I <laughs> I don't know. I no, I didn't. didn't. Yes, I didn't. I didn't used to used to eat healthy food when I was a child or when I was a teenager. You ate, ate a lot of chocolate, pizza, and hamburger. <laughs> yes, me too. I love hamburgers. <laughs> How do you say the comida rápida? Junk food. 
Uh -huh, yeah, the junk food. No, that would be fast food. Junk food. Ah, fast, uh, fast, fast food. Fast food. Thank fast you. food. Thank uh -huh, you. Fast food. The fast food, I don't know why. Fast but food, fast food. Sería la comida chatarra, ¿verdad, teacher? Comida rápida, como quien dice. ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, fast food is comida rápida. Junk uh -huh. food is comida chatarra. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, okay. 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 Thank you, I teacher. Don't know, I don't know why, but the, the fast food is more delicious. <laughs> <laughs> <Always>. <laughs> Okay, next question. Uh, in your family for fun. Elinda? Hello. Uh, well, uh, I remember that when I was a shy, my family, uh, Try. My family uh, used to go to the park and used to play soccer or el que se avientan y y uno tiene que salir corriendo al terminar. ¿Qué? ¿En serio? ¿Really? How do you say that in English? Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> the what? Yes, it's... <laughs> yes, Super, you're right. Super boring family is new play. Oh, play okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> My family is, is not uh, funny. <laughs> Kelly, they are mm. still here. Um. We used to play Arranca Ceboy. <laughs> I don't know how they say in English. No, in English. No, that, that's correct. You could say that, Arranca Ceboy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's because it's a proper name, so it's okay. And there's no equivalent name in, in English. It's a proper name. Uh, okay. Okay, can I ask a question? Okay. okay. Um, who did you used to live with? Repeat, Linda. Is it Who did you? Sorry. Um. Um. Who did you used to live with? In Spanish, um, con quién solías vivir? I usually live with family. I used to live with my grandpas. Well, in my case, I used to live with both of my parents, but um, my father moved to another country, so I live now just with my
Okay, so I think we have most of the people here. Great. Okay, so any questions, any, any problems that you guys had? Anything you want to ask about before we continue? Teacher, I cannot use the verb have in this kind of um, sentence. Um, you can use um, have, like I used to have, but if you use I used to have, it does not mean um, a past, it's not a past habit. It's, um, it would be a state, not a habit. For something to be a habit, it has to be an action. You can't have an action with a state. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. It's like a verb. Yeah, like you can use used to with any verb. Okay, it's grammatically it's correct. The only thing that it has another meaning. Okay, it doesn't mean a past habits. It's not, no es una, un hábito que se hacía. Porque if you say, to give it an example, if you say, I used to have a dog. Yo solía tener un, un perro. No es un hábito. No es un hábito del pasado tener un perro. Right? But it's different if I say, I used to um, go shopping every Friday. Yo solía ir de compras todos los viernes. That's a past habit. That's something that always happens. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, good. Have All right, guys. Um, yes, you're welcome. Okay, so um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be learning. We're going to start with uh, the beginning of unit two. Okay, so we're going to, we have now officially finished unit one, which is basically all about the past. And now we're going to be looking at unit two. Okay, unit two, um, uh, is going to be, we're going to be talking about in unit two, a little bit about our city. Problems that exist in a city or good things that exist in a city, but usually more about problems, okay? Um, so let's, um, I'm gonna share here again the whiteboard. Let me know when you can see the whiteboard. I can I, see. I can see. I can see, teacher. Yes, sure. Perfect. Okay. All right. So let's start here. Um, so we're going to talk about adverbs. Oh. Let me change that. Okay. So um, adverbs of quantities or a quantity. Okay. So before we, I can teach you about which are the ones, um, what are the adverbs of quantity. Let's talk first about, about non-count and countable nouns. Okay. So let's, let's see if we, if we remember what, um, what countable and non-countable nouns are. Count nouns and non-count nouns. So let's let's see if you guys can remember this. Um, just give me a moment. Non-count nouns. Okay. All right. So because we we have to understand this be, to be able to to understand this topic first we have to understand what are count nouns and what are non-count nouns. Okay. So. Can you guys give me examples of nouns that are possible um, to to count? To count, uh, I think apple, pencil, Good. 
good. Give me more. Cards. Desk. Computers. Chair. Car. I didn't hear that last one. What was that? Book. Okay, good. And and um, apart from the 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 school supplies, to take have, like uh, for example. Um, parks, um, buses, hospitals, um, let's say, um, uh, uh, no, sorry, um, uh, let me think. People. Um, Okay, people, yes, very good. Right. So, listen, listen, these are just some examples, right? We're not going to uh, make all the lists because obviously it's an infinite amount of, of uh, countable nouns. Now, give me examples of what are non count nouns. Water? <laughs> Rice? Sugar? Blood? Yeah, what else? Ten? Arena? Ten? Starts? Oxygen. Sorry? What was the last one? Oxygen. Oil. Good. And then we can say words like, um, I don't know, like pollution. Pollution. Sorry. Oh, well. A boat? Population, too, actually. Population. Um, Gas. Population, uh, pollution, feeling, feeling, um, feelings. Oh, actually, no, feelings. We can count. Um, we can have, uh, for example, public transportation. Uh, public trans. Um, noise, okay, and so on, and you know, etc., etc., etc. Again, I'm not going to make a big list because there's no point in making a big list. Okay, so basically, you have to understand these two things. If you understand these two things, we'll be okay. Now, address of quantity. When we're talking about address of quantity, we can use certain words. Okay. Uh, I told you guys that I was going to um, first explain this to be able to give you a list. So right now I'm going to actually give you the list of quantifiers that we're going to be um, that we're going to be talking about today. Okay, there are many. Okay, so this is not the complete list. I, I want you to understand that it's not a complete list, but these are some of the ones we're going to talk about today. The ones we will talk about are. Um, so we can use too much, too many, um, too much, too many, a second, um, let more, less, 
viewer. And what was the other one? Enough. Yes. Enough. Thank you. So those are the ones that we're going to be talking about today. Okay. Of course, like I told you, there are more, but just for the moment, we're going to be using these ones. Okay. Usually we use these ones when we're comparing something or when we're talking about a problem. Okay. To give you an example, if I was going to um, talk about, um, I could say, for example, um, there are, um, for example, 40 students in the class. There are 40 students in the class and only uh, 10 desks, okay? So imagine that's the situation. There are 40 students in the class and there are only 10 desks. So I can say, regarding that situation, I can say there are too many students right there are too many students okay or I can say there aren't enough desks okay so here we are we are saying that there's a problem okay what we're saying here, there, there is a problem. There are 40 students in the class and only 10 desks. So I, what I'm saying here is that the amount of students is more than necessary. And here I'm saying that the amount of desks is less than necessary. Does that make sense? So this one's more than necessary, and this one's less than necessary, okay? So I'm going to write that down so that it's clear for you guys. Okay. So here, too many, and here, uh, not enough, which is usually in the plural form. And what that means is that it's... more than necessary so I'm going to move this over here because okay more than necessary and this one is less than necessary okay less than necessary. Actually, I just realized something. I'll put it over here instead. Okay, now, um, if I'm going to, so that is for countable nouns, because students is countable, desks are countable, right? Okay, now over here, we can say um, for example um, we can say um, There is, um, I'm going to say, there are uh, five, let's say, yeah, five liters 
of no there are five cups of um, rice and only one liter of milk to make rice pudding. Do you guys understand what rice pudding is? You know rice pudding? Arroz con leche? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so there are, there are five cups of, of rice. Sorry, yeah, five cups of rice and only one liter of, of milk, right? Oh, yeah, one liter of milk. Um, so we can't re really make the rice pudding. So we can say... Um, we can say that there there um, is too much rice and there isn't enough milk Okay. There is too much rice and there isn't enough milk. Okay, so here, I have the same thing here. I'm going to be using, in this case, for non-countable, I'm going to be using too much. Okay, and for something that isn't less than necessary, we say isn't enough. So that's going to be the difference. Aren't enough is for something that's um, that's uh, countable isn't enough for something that's non-countable too many for something that's countable and too much for something that is non-countable okay now in in the case of more well the case of more is just um, a little bit it's easier because um, we can say more for for both countables and for example we can say um there okay we need more um books okay in that case um or we can say um they brought more um, more sugar they brought more sugar okay so in this case we're using more for countable and more for non-countable because books is countable sugar is non-countable okay and then for this one Um, you can say you need um, we need you need um, fewer uh, sorry yeah fewer um, you need fewer um, uh, fewer um, people uh, to you need fewer people um, uh, in this group okay so that is okay and then over here we would say we can say um, there is 
less oxygen. Or he has less oxygen, so you're gonna say he has less oxygen. So we use um, fewer for non countables, sorry, for countables. Okay. And oh, and we use less for count for non countables. Okay? Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes. Okay, good. All right, guys. Um well, we have um, come to the end of our class. So I'm going to be um, posting the video so you guys can um, check it out and remember it um, if you guys have not understood it. And I'm going to send you um, through the West Web group the homework that I would like you to do uh, for Monday. Okay? So that will be all, guys. It's been a pleasure in seeing you guys again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Remember, tomorrow we do not have class until Monday. Okay? All right, guys. So take care. See ya. Okay, thank you, teacher. See you, thank you, teacher. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye.